Hi there, welcome to the Newfoundland Outsider and on this episode we're going to be making a kitchen camp box. So a kitchen camp box is just an organizer for you to carry all your kitchen supplies for your cook-up. This is an old kitchen camp box I made years ago for me and my wife out and camping and having a cook up and I'll show you everything I got in here so this is my kitchen camp box in the cover I got some matches and a lighter I keep some string in there and a knife sharpener that's in the cover itself and of course in the box I got all dividers and I keep everything in there for cooking up when we're uh, when we're off on snowmobile or quad or up in the boat. Okay, these are all the things I've got in my kitchen box. But the best way to build a kitchen camp box is to get all the things you normally use and build a box around it. Make all your compartments and all your dividers to fit your needs. So this is what my kitchen box looks like inside. It's a bit old and dirty now, but it still works great. It's got character. It's all divided up. So what I'm going to do today is to make a camp kitchen box for my daughters. I'm going to make a little smaller version than the one I got, a little lighter. And all the things you see on the table here, I want to incorporate in the box. I'll leave the dimensions in the description below if you want to try and build your own kitchen box. The best way to build a kitchen box like I was saying earlier is just get all the things you want to put in there and build the box around it. So what I'm going to do now is rip some plywood. I'm making mine out of 3 8 plywood. I'm using 3 8 plywood so I could uh, put slots in it. And then I could put my dividers in there and slide them down like that. So let's rip some plywood. before you build your box. And what I mean by that is uh, take everything you want to put in there and start building a floor plan. And in this one I want to put my stove in the corner or my kettle, sorry. And my stove in there and my fuel. And then next to it I want to put my cups in there. But make sure you utilize all the area. Because you got a cup there, you can fill it up with something. I'll put my light in there. I'll put my other cup on it. You can imagine there's going to be dividers here all around. Everything's going to have to be divided up in its proper spot. And I can put things in the cups to use up every bit of space I can. And you got to play with it and make it work for you. Okay, what do you want to do next is lay out all your boards. So you get a bottom, two ends, and two sides. 
and you want to get the center of each board and, and make a mark just to have it nice and centered after you got your board centered you want to transcribe all your lines from the bottom which is your little grid that you made up for all your pieces and you want to transcribe them up the wall of the side and up the wall of the end plate then when you put your box together you'll have the grooves coming up the side and you're going to groove this board out or a dado as they call it in the carpentry business so you're going to groove it or dado it like that and when you're all done you can make your dividers and just slide them down in your dado like that okay what we're going to do now is set up our table saw so that we can put grooves or dados in all our pieces then we can start making our dividers and slide them down in there okay now we're going to use our dado blade to butt grooves or dados in the sides of our walls for our cap box and of course <clears throat> as you can see the dado blade is much wider than a regular blade for ripping so what a dado blade does is takes out a lot of material at one time so that you can make grooves and then you could slide your wood in it after okay you want to drop your dado blade down just so you can take half of the material away So there we have a perfect groove for our divider okay and now we got our dados made we can start assembling the box <coughs> so I'm just going to use a little bit of Gorilla Glue on mine and hold it together with brad nails So now that we got the uh, box made, we just got to put a bottom in it. And I know some of you are going to say I should put the bottom on the outside. But I want to put the bottom on the inside. So I could have a nice clean look all the way down. Okay, what I've done is uh, I cut out all my dividers like that and I dadoed my dividers because I'm going to put dividers within dividers when I get them in the box. So let's 
put these in until we did. Now your dividers are going to be a little different depending on what you're going to put in there. But you got to make it your own. There. I gotta trim it up a bit to make it look better, but roughly that's what I got done. I'm gonna put my plates in here, my pot and stove and my mugs and uh, my coffee and things and my water and so on. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out uh, little slots right here in different parts of the uh, dividers of the box. So that when you put something deep in there, it's going to be hard to get out like that. So if you had a little slot right there, you can pull it straight up and put your finger in there. See how hard it is? All right, we'll use our scroll saw here. Turn it up a bit. put our divider in <clears throat> and we put our plate in it's easier to get out okay what I want to do is put hooks on uh, either side for the spoon knife and fork that one there and one there so that when I put the divider in and I put my plates in I can hang my cutlery next to it on a hook because I bought these little KFS set there and they tuck in there really nice So before I sand it and varnish everything, we'll try we'll try everything for a fit and make sure everything is going to work when we want it to work. All right, what I'm going to do is uh, I got some of this light gray paint here. I'm going to paint the inside of the box and the uh, dividers, so it won't be so dark inside there. But the outside I'm varnishing. Okay, now that we got all the uh, dividers done, we're ready to go, and they're all painted, we're gonna glue the dividers in the box, and then we get started on the cover. So the next thing I'm going to do is make a cover for the top of the box and I want the cover to drop down over the box to make it more uh, water and weather re resistant. Thank you. 
Okay, now we've got one done. We'll see how it fits. Fits pretty good. So the next thing I want to do is, uh, now that I got all the boxes done, I'm going to use some filler and fill in all the little imperfections in the box. And I'm going to use my sanding block and we're going to sand it all out. Okay, so now that I've got the boxes totally done, the box and the cover, both boxes, I got them sanded and varnished. I do them five times. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some brass. I'm going to put on a brass handle and we're going to do some brass corners. And we're going to do a latch on the, on the side to keep the uh, top lid down. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done. I got all the boxes done. I got all the hardware put on. Got the handles and the latches. I think the only thing left to do now is go try them. <laughs> 